Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrick and welcome back to our first adventure on a brand new quest on our channel. A new short video series which we will dive into famous game mechanics and try to code them out or just plainly explain how they are made. And those mechanics can spread from a single tricky enemy to a massive game system. And what an awesome way to start this quest is to start from coding the first enemy we killed in our gaming career, the Goomba from the Mario franchise. The Goomba is one of the most basic enemies ever in video game history and in today's video we will have a small dive into its basic mechanics and begin this long quest with a simple task. So before I start building the Goomba mechanics I want to set the testing area. First I made a simple player script to make the player follow my mouse cursor and I have put a collider on it plus I gave him the player tag in it. Next, I created a script to easily reload the scene by pressing the button R to make the testing a bit more quicker. Fun fact! Do you know that the Goomba was designed to be the bad mushroom that killed Mario and had brown colors to be different from the red magic mushroom? Now let's get back, it's time for the Goomba. And for this small guy, he has three main actions. He moves from left to right and he kills the player and he dies by stomping on his head. Let's start by killing the player and being killed. And to do this simple mechanic, all you have to do is add whip, one collider, whip, another trigger collider. These colliders, after resizing them, one of them will be the main collider of the Goomba that will help him stay above the ground and help him punish the player in the face. The second collider or the trigger collider will, will be activated when the player enters it from above. So we transfer its location to be above the Goomba head. And in Unity, it was a simple script, just adding on trigger enter and on collision enter to detect the player. If the player enters the trigger collider, the Goomba dies. And if the player enters the main collider, the player dies. Next step is by adding the ground. The Goomba moves from left to right and don't detect edges. So when he reaches the edge of the map, the Goomba falls to his death. But if Goomba touch another Goomba or reaches another pipe, he bounces back and go in the reverse direction. And this was very simple to add in Unity. I add the edge tag and the enemy tag in the collider detection uh, in the Goomba script to detect if it's an edge or an enemy. When he does that, he just reverse the location with a simple transform translate code in the update function in the Goomba. It's fairly simple. And after running the game, we can see that the player can easily kill the Goomba by stomping on his head and be killed if he hit the Goomba from the side. We can notice that the Goomba moving left to right can hit the edge and go back or hit another enemy and go back. Yeah, this was very awesome tutorial and very awesome game mechanic to do. It's very simple game mechanic but we have to start from one point and this series was started from this small guy. So guys. I hope you liked this video, if you make it this far, consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to join our kingdom on discord, there I will take your ideas to make in this series and you can tell me what you like to see in, about game mechanics to be viewed and coded using unity. All the codes of this series will be available on my github page, link in the description so you can download it and mess around with it, but now don't forget to like, share and subscribe and to join our kingdom over on discord links in the description and now see you all in the next adventure